Lesson two, the first uh, topic is systems of linear equations, solving systems of linear equations by graphing, which means we're going to have to draw some graphs. I've got some graph paper. You can use it. Um, there are many ways that it might be presented. You might be given a couple of problems that are already in the slope-intercept format. Great. We're going to learn how to, if we have slope-intercept during this lesson, we're going to learn how to plot if you've got the slope-intercept format. You might have some where one line is in slope-intercept and the other line is in standard form. Okay? Not a problem. We're going to learn how to solve standard form for slope-intercept. You might have some where you've got a, a 3y equals something that, you know, 3y equals 5x minus 4. Okay? Well, you're going to have to solve for that kind of equation too, and that's okay because that's also going to come up while we're in here. But you are definitely going to have a problem or two where you've got two linear equations and both are in standard form. So you're going to have to get both of them into linear format or slope intercept format. So we're going to do one that's like that. Uh, you've got one on the quiz, I know for certain, that does this. This is not the problem. This isn't exactly like it, except, you know, because the numbers are all different and a couple of the signs are different. But the principle remains the same, and you'll be able to get through this. Not a problem. Guarantee it. All right. So to start with, we have our two equations. We have 2x plus 5 equals 20, and 6x minus 3y equals 6. Well, they look simple enough, but I can't use them to directly plot something on here unless I put them into slope-intercept. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this equation first. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Okay, well, that goes away. I'm left with 5y, and that equals a minus 2x plus 20. Hmm, all right. Still got that 5y there. Remember, I told you you may have a few where this is this is what they give you. So to get rid of that 5y, I divide both sides by 5, and I divide it through to all everybody. All right, though that 5 goes away because it cancels. 5 divided by 5 is 1. We don't write the 1. So that's y equals a negative 2 over 5 x equals 20 divided by 5, excuse me, plus 4. Okay. Well, looky there. That's in slope-intercept. I have it a y-intercept, and I have a slope. Let's see how we would plot those. My y-intercept is plus 4, so I go up 1, 2, 3, 4 on the graph, like that. Make some big so you can see it. And then I go down 2 and over 5. 1, 3, 4, 5. And I appear to be on the proper line. And if you have graph paper, it's easier because you make little marks on the graph paper. That'll help you. So, yeah, that looks good. So now I'm going to draw my line between those two points. And there's my first line. This line represents 2x plus 5y equals 20. Now if we wanted to pick points along this line and plug them in, we'd find out that it's, it's the correct answer. Okay, so that's one line. We're going to do the same thing with the other the line now, and it's, it's good for practice. I'm going to do first, I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. Okay, those cancel out. I'm left with a minus 3y equals minus 6x plus 6. I've got that now again. I'm almost there, but not quite. 
got to get my y all alone. So I divide through on both sides with minus 3. Okay, minus 3. All right, well, minus 3 over minus 3 is a 1, so they cancel out. A negative over a negative is a positive. 6 divided by 3 is a 2. Let's write that down. And x, a positive over a negative is a negative. 6 divided by 3 is a 2. I think we just said that. And so there's our line. There's our equation in slope-intercept format. Our intercept is a minus 2, and our slope is a positive 2. So, we plot this point first, a minus 2, just like that. And then we want to find our slope, which is positive 2, so that's up 2 over 1. So now I have two points which I can join together to make a line. And once I get that line, I'm going to be able to find where these two lines intersect. Now, if you're doing it on graph paper, you're going to be much more accurate than I am. I think I'm doing pretty good here, though. So there's my intersection point. Now, <clears throat> mind you, I'm a little bit inaccurate in my spacing here. On graph paper, you'll be more accurate. So, what's my point? Well, my point looks like about 1, 2, 3. Excuse me, that's in the y direction. Is it? Yes, it is. My point in the x direction looks like about 1, 2, 3. And 2 and a half. Okay? And that'll be your point of intersection. Let me check my paper here. I got them backwards, didn't I? Okay. I should be two and a half here. This is where it comes in, right about there. And it comes in right about here. So it's two and a half, three. Very good. So again, I messed it up a little bit because I'm just kind of writing it on the board. But if you've got graph paper, okay, you can make your own plots and plot it out that way. Um, so there it is. Going from standard form to slope-intercept form, doing it twice, <clears throat> and plotting each line once it's in slope-intercept onto the graph, finding where the points intersect, and coming up with your answer.